Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Abdul Rahman from South Africa. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Can you hear me clear, Sheikh? I, I do. Barakallahu oh. feek. Thank you, Abdul Rahman. Wa barakallahu laka aydan. Naam. I, I've got a comment. That I want to hear your opinion on this. On what? Uh, on, you see, in Pakistan, they have declared the Ahmadiyya Jama'a as non-Muslim kafir. Naam. And they've deprived them of, of saying the karima, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Okay. Any Ahmadi who pronounced the kalima in Pakistan is put in jail or is killed mm. for that kalima. Now, I would like <coughs> to know from you, is there anywhere in the Quran or sayings of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where he said, anyone who declares the kalima is a non-Muslim? Okay. And they... <laughs> and they bombed the Ahmadi Masjid, they killed them while they performed Salah, but the whole Muslim world, so-called Muslim world, don't announce it on the news, they don't inform the people what is happening. Abdul Rahman, uh, let me ask you a question. Are you yourself Ahmadi? I have, I have accepted Ahmadiyyat. I was a Sunni before, okay. and when I heard the truth of Ahmadiyyat... Okay. That I makes the picture it. very clear. Abdul Rahman, let me ask you no. a question. Are you still there? Bismillah. Yeah, Abdul Rahman. Abdul Rahman. Naam, naam. Okay. Do you believe that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa was the last messenger? I believe Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is the last law-bearing prophet. Okay. What do you mean by that? You mean that you believe there was a prophet after him? Because what the Quran says, you see, no, I'm Quran not, listen, listen, Abdul Rahman, I'm not entering into naam. a debate with you. I have a debate, eight hours debate with Ahmadis. Why utterly defeated them with their scholars in the U.S.? I'm not debating you. You can go back to my debate. I'm asking you if, a simple question. You yeah. believe that there was a prophet after Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Yes or no? The, the Ahmadis have proved to me from the Quran that Nabi Ah, uh, you don't, okay. I'm sorry, I cannot take your call. I'm sorry. You, you don't get it. You don't get it. Now let me explain to the viewers. Any person who denies any ruling of the Qur'an does not believe in any segment of the Qur'an is a kafir. The Qur'an says, وَلَكِنْ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ وَخَاتَمَ النَّبِيِّينَ Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the seal of the prophethood. This confusion which you are in, I'll be more than happy if you collect my number or email address and spend time with you and I believe it will be a piece of cake to put you back on the right track, inshallah. Trust me, it's a piece of cake. Those who invited me for the debate, before the end of the debate, they realized that their leaders were ignorant. It's a matter of ignorance, okay? Unfortunately, you feel in the wrong hand, Akhi. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide you to what's best. There is no Muslim who would accept this fact there was a prophet after Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As a matter of fact, the Quran, not only in this straightforward ayah of Surah Al-Ahzab, but also when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Ma'idah, اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتممت عليكم نعمتي ورضيت لكم الإسلام مدينة Finished. خلاص. It's over. Deen is complete. Not a chance for any addition, change, or alteration, or modification, or abrogation. Never. And the proof is the Quran. Any person, at the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, how many people claim the Prophethood? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prophesied that 30 people will claim the Prophethood. And Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu an waged a war against Mudda'i and Nubawa, and he utterly defeated them, many of them. Wala Muhammad Qadian is one of them. And I just want to uh, ask you a favor search in his biography and figure out how did he die. It's very shameful. The way that he died, the way he died. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, as the Jews were divided into 70 sects, 71 sects, and the uh, Christians were divided into 72 sects, and uh, Muslims will be divided into 73 sects, all of whom are astray. The Ahmadiyya is one of them. Qadianis is one of them. Uh, Baha'is are one of them. Alawis, those extreme sects which do have issues with the Aqidah, other due to ignorance, Misunderstanding, we owe you an explanation. We lovely would spend time to explain to you. But 
if the person is stubborn, then adopt any faith or religion. You can call yourself anything, but you're not a Muslim. إِنَّ الدِّينَ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ الْإِسْلَامِ Hear what the Prophet ﷺ said. I have been given five qualities that no one was given, no prophet before me. One of them, he is al-mahi, he is al-khatam, he is al-aqib, الذي لا نبي بعده. Amongst his names is al-aqib. There will not be a prophet after him. So if you don't believe him, you follow whatever you follow. You call yourself forever, but you're not a Muslim. As far as your question, now I wanted to ask you to find out whether your statement is true or not, because I do believe that your statement is not true. If a Christian meets me and say, Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah, why would they kill him? Why would they spit in his face? Why would they target him? If a Jew, if an atheist keeps saying every day, Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah, say the kalima, you're most welcome. Who is the one who knows whether you really mean it or not? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Will hold you accountable accordingly is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But people in Pakistan issue fatwa to kill people who say la ilaha illallah. That makes no sense. It doesn't work together. Okay? As I say, yourself and any person would like to learn about Qadianis more, would like to be put on the right track, you can collect my number. I don't want to waste the time of the viewers. It is enough to give you uh, the few informations I provided you.